Good morning. I hope you had a great night's sleep and you're ready to meet the day. And um, for the next um, several devotions, I'm going to be, I've coined a phrase and I'm going to be uh, kind of working that phrase out. And um, the phrase is, you can't work for your salvation, but you have to work your salvation. And I'll explain that over the next uh, several devotions uh, on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And um, one of the texts we'll be using, actually, we will be looking at Paul's letter to the Ephesians in several spots. And the first part we're going to uh, pick up comes from the second chapter, and it's that great um, formula of uh, what God has done for us. And it is in Ephesians chapter 2, starting verse 8. Paul writes, For it's by grace you have been saved, through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared advance, in advance for us to do. And I'm going to pause on that um, phrase, for by grace you have been saved. And it's a gift of God. In fact, you could even translate that, for by the gift of God you have been saved, for it's a gift of God, because the initial word that is used for grace uh, is, in fact, means gift. It's completely and totally God's gift. You can't work for it. You can't earn it. You just, you can't earn a gift. You have to simply receive it. And it depends totally and completely on the giver. The good news is, is that God has given you the gift. If you want it, God has given it to you. And all you need to do is unwrap that gift. Let me say a little bit about faith. Faith sometimes gets turned into a work. If you just have enough faith, if you just believe hard enough, God will grant you the desires of your heart. And there's scriptures that can be interpreted that way, but that that makes faith a work. Faith is simply unwrapping the gift, opening the gift that God has given you. You know, the church, when it's at bet, when it's been at its best down through the ages, whether we're talking about the early church uh, soon after Paul and Peter and John, or we're talking about the church in the Reformation, whether that's in Germany or Switzerland or England, or we're talking about uh, the pietist movements or some of the the great awakening in America, every one of those, the church was at its best when it had this realization that your salvation is a gift of God. And here's the reason why. If you hold that, that your salvation is a gift to God, you look around you to the people that are in your life, the people you encounter, and you realize that they can have the same gift. And you don't look down at them. Too often in the church, at other times, we have started to think of our salvation as something we won or something we've earned, even if it's the fact that, well, I've, I've, I'm saved by faith. I've worked at it. And then we begin to look down at other people. We don't see other people's struggles. We don't see that they're dealing with things that we can't even imagine. And our heart hardens. But if we look at God's gift of grace that has been given to us 
and realize that it is totally and completely a gift, freely given. It opens our eyes to our brothers and sisters. And hopefully, it asks us, it challenges us to think about how we can share that in a winsome, winning, loving, attractive way. So this week, as we continue to struggle with this COVID-19, acknowledge God's gift. And then look around at the people in your life and think and pray about how you can share that gift in a winning, winsome, loving way. Because by grace, you have been saved. It's a gift. Share it. Let's pray. Lord God, we give you praise and thanks that we've been saved, that you have claimed us, that we are your children, that we can have a relationship with you. We also give you thanks that you have appointed us as agents and ambassadors of your will and kingdom. Show us how we can be winsome ambassadors of this gift of grace, that we might share it in ways that give hope and strength. We lift up our needs, trusting you will provide. We ask that you would indeed forgive us and make us forgiving people and lead us through today. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Tomorrow, what it means to work your salvation, part one. Be hope-filled. Stay strong, and God bless.